Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and it's that time of year again, it comes to March, it's spring training, it's baseball time, and that means baseball games, and this is the return of RBI Baseball on the Nintendo Switch. This comes from the MLB, their own internal studios, and it's out on the Nintendo Switch, and will set you back a quite reasonable $29.99 in terms of dollars, £22.49 in the UK. Lots of new additions, unfortunately I've only got the code today. So I haven't had a lot of time to play it, but I've played through a couple of quick games. Definitely improvements to be had here. And uh, definitely some of those new features are going to be of interest. So the first one you may notice straight away on the first screen here is the Nintendo Switch finally, finally has online multiplayer. Uh, it's been missing. It's on all the other consoles and uh, PC but hasn't been on the Switch, so finally we've got online multiplayer. We'll have a look at that in a little second. Uh, we've also got this new creator player and edit player feature. You can create your own players and assign them to teams, but really cool as well. You can edit players. You can edit anyone on the roster. So Mark Canna. Let's just grab him. And you see here you've got uh, all the stats, and you can tab across to appearance. And you can actually change all their all their appearances, which is really cool. Give me a cheeky little tash, and you can even change their ratings and the kind of gear they wear. So really good this, because a lot of sports games won't allow you to do this, uh, not to this degree anyway. You know, once you get the license and you've got licensed players, you know they kind of lock that kind of stuff down. But really cool. Uh, we won't inflict that on Mark Hanna. And uh, we've got this new create player as well. Pretty much the same sort of thing. You can go in there, create your own player. Again, appearance, give them different ratings, give them gear. Oh, where am I going? Uh, and then you can assign them to whatever team you want. Really cool. I think it must have been a, a big feature. I think one of the, the big things for RBI this year is adding in some features that fans have been clamoring for. And to their credit, not everybody likes these RBI games. They get kind of mixed reviews, but one thing they always do, these RBI games and the team behind them, is they always iterate every year. They never stand still, always add in new features. And, you know, I would say three of the biggest things that people have been asking for over the years is multiplayer on the Switch specifically, to be able to create a player and to have commentary in game. Now, we have got commentary in the game. Unfortunately, it's not quite up to par yet, which is... Uh, you know, it probably won't be a surprise to many people. This is a budget game after all. And given the history of RBI, you know, it's uh, as I say, it does get mixed reviews. But they do keep adding these things in. That's uh, it's fine. We're just going to go with that. I need to add a team in. Let's pick a random team. Just need to pick our starter, I think. And then we can start game. So we've got, uh, we'll just play an exhibition game. Um, I think it might only be set to one innings possibly, but we'll uh, we'll play for it anyway and talk about through some of the gameplay changes. As I said, I've played a couple of games and I think the, I've certainly enjoyed the improvements anyway. Um, there's a new batting and pitching control and I found both of them excellent and I was getting some really Hello, decent everyone. hits into the outfield. So... There you go, just going to let the play-by-play uh, play, uh, play out there. Uh, I'm trying to find out who's doing the play-by-play. Play. I can't find the, the name of the person who's doing it. No but the problem with the play-by-play play is get it out of the way first, and uh, then I'll shut up and you can hear it. But um, it's very literal. It's literally, you know, you can almost hear where the individual snippets of, of dialogue are stitched together. So it's not, just not particularly fluid. And it's not particularly exciting, but it is, you know, again, a progression. He struck him out swinging. What a Three strikes. So this is the new batting mode. We've got new uh, batting options now. B will give you a normal swing. Slider outside. That's outside. Uh, X will give you a power... Uh, y, so we'll give you a power swing, and X will give you a 
Ah, give you a contact swing, which is, you know, a guarantee, well, not a guarantee, but more of a guarantee to hit the ball, but a much reduced power. Ooh, that was straight down Main Street, that one. Um, the power hit, obviously, will hit further, but it's much harder to hit, so you want to be hitting something coming straight at you. And the, uh, the normal hit is somewhere in between. But as I said, I've got some decent hits for this. Let's concentrate. See if we can. That's high. Presentations, I'd say it's improved slightly. It's not the, you know, it doesn't look like the uh, the show on the PlayStation, obviously. But you know, it's quite smooth. Three balls. Good eyes here from uh, from my man at the plate. This one's coming. For a big hit, and you see, you get a really nice, decent hit. So here we are with the new pitching mechanic. S slightly the same as last year. You, you use the left stick here to pick one of your pitches. And each pitch has got a confidence and a quality. And that overall is affected by your stamina. If you press R, you can bring up your stamina meter above your pitcher. And that little bubble up there. So you're basically picking a pitch. Press B. And then you aim your pitch. Press B again. Swing and a miss. And there you go. You can hold down B uh, at this point here. You can hold it down. You can see the circle grow to get more sort of power and control. Oh, that's a good hit. And he throws it to second. To get more power and control on the uh, on the pitch, sorry. But that's at a cost of stamina, so that will, uh, will take your stamina away. So pretty standard setup, but again, I think it's better than last year's. It's another good hit. And fires to third base. Standard controls there's X for second base, A for first base, Y for third base, B for home. So you want to mix your pitches up because that will affect your confidence. And also you want to mix up between sort of holding down B for a power pitch. Ooh, plunked him. And uh, laying off the, the B so your uh, stamina doesn't go down too much. Strike one. Trying to tempt him on the outside. Let's go with a fastball. On the ground, to the right side. You can dive now as well with the uh, ZR button there. You see it wasn't the best. And they get one home. Still suffering slightly from the same problem as uh, as previous years where uh, the contact between ball and player in the outfield isn't particularly great. Sometimes it can... Um, <coughs> the ball can sort of magically warp into the, the fielder's hands but you know there's a couple of negatives there but as I say this is a budget title really it's a sort of lower mid price title there's not many options for baseball on the switch and uh, I think if you've been any any sort of a fan of the previous RBIs you're probably going to like this one with the new additions oh dived over the top of it so L to the cutoff man and then B to home, and they've got another two over. So we're getting tanked a bit in this inning. I haven't got anybody in. Got anybody in? Can't see the uh, can't see the stats. Fastball, no balls, two strikes. Am I missing the uh, number of outs? Maybe the outs are represented by those orange balls at the bottom, in the bottom left-hand corner on that scoreboard, because there's two there now. But it's weird, because you normally see those sort of things for uh, strikes and balls. So let's go higher with a fastball. And that should be three outs. First and there's the first inning so um, you may notice the, there's no music I've actually turned the music off because I've got um, copyright striked up the wazoo last year when I uploaded this game on the channel with uh, with music on So, but it has got again full licensed uh, soundtrack which does add to the atmosphere let's see if we can get some hits Ooh, that was coming straight down main that's a good hit so we hold down L oh no 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 Hold down uh, ZL to send your runners round. 
and ZR to make them run backwards and you can individually target them. Ooh, I was tempted with that as well. Let's try a contact hit. So this is with X. Ooh, that was outside. Come on, umpire. So again, this game's got full uh, season mode on it with trades and free agents and injuries. Let me know what you think below in, in, in terms of the... Oh, dear, what am I doing swinging at that? Uh, let me know below what you think of the play-by-play. -play. As I say, it's been probably the most requested feature. It's a contact hit. They're going to have a double play. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think of the play-by-play the -play commentary. As I say, it's pretty rudimentary and pretty basic. Uh, unfortunately, there's, there's no sort of frills on it. There's no colour commentary at all. It's just straight up calling the play. Which again, you know, it's the first time the series has had this in uh, in the game. So, you know, baby steps and all that. Maybe next year they'll introduce a second man into the booth. Get a bit of colour commentary going. We can actually back out here and we'll go back to the main menu. My controls are all over the place because uh, I've been playing a lot on the PlayStation rather than the Switch recently. <laughs> I'm kind of used to using the DualSense 5. So we'll go back and have a look at some of the other modes <clears throat> just to wrap this one up and some of the options. I, w I do want to show you the options actually because it's quite impressed with that offering. Going to gameplay options and you've got uh, main categories, offense, pitching, fielding, difficulty. So in each of these there's quite a lot of settings now. You can change uh, cameras, swing locations, the swing power style. So starting to get a little bit more like the show in terms of offering you sort of legacy control methods and new control methods, pitching the same now, fielding the same. But the difficulty is what I really like here. You've got individual sliders for lots of different things there. So you've got a general overall uh, difficulty, easy, medium, and hard. And then within that, you can alter these sliders which is really cool. So I know a lot of people like sliders and you can also change it individually for human and the AI players as well there. So really cool. Uh, basic settings is just your usual stuff. So you, as I said, I've turned the music off there. You can turn the play by play off if you don't like it and uh, go through the tutorials again. Rosters of course will be kept up to date with uh, downloadable rosters. You can get the latest roster update there. And so you can move players around and edit and create players which we looked at earlier and then you've got this new franchise or the franchise mode has been in before but you can start a new franchise there that's a 10 season franchise and that'll have stuff like as i say trades free agents injuries all that kind of stuff you can just play the postseason if you just want to go for the uh for the um i'm gonna say the super bowl <laughs> the world series um you can go for that there let's, let's have a look at the online multiplayer because i've not even had a look at this yet let's see if we can find an opponent I don't know if this is cross-platform. I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, choose your team to start search. Let's be the Athletics. The Moneyball team. And there we go. We've got a team. We've got uh, playing against the Cubs. So we're going to back out of that. But apologies to, to whoever that was. But um, you see that found an online game pretty quickly. So that's positive. That is good news. So I'm not can't vouch for the servers. I'll maybe try and have an online game a little bit later and see how the servers hold up and then I'll, uh, I'll maybe stick a pinned comment in and let you know my thoughts of how online ran. Uh, we can play an exhibition match like we just did. Um, it's playing there and you've got the home run derby as well. So there you go. Lots of new additions. Really good update for uh, RBI if you're a fan of the series. I think you're going to be quite pleased if you've asked for any of those big features. So the play by play is not the best, but at least it's in. Online multiplayer is in, which is great news. And you can create your own players and edit the existing uh, MLB players, which is also excellent. And I say some gameplay tweaks that makes the hitting a little bit nicer and easier to do. Uh, you're going to get some better hits there. And the new pitching and uh, batting mechanics seem to be really smart as well. So I'm going to really enjoy playing this one. May uh, get stuck into it, put a few hours into it, and then uh, come back with another video a little bit down the line if you're into that sort of thing. If you want to leave me a comment, if you've got any questions at all, please leave me a comment. And uh, I will try and get some answers for you. As I say, this is out today, which is the 16th of March on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's out on Xbox. The iPhone version's out as well. I think I saw just 
just before recording this video that PlayStation version has been delayed, but um, I'm not too sure about that. But this is the Switch version, and uh, quite liking it so far. Big fan of this series, and as you, if you've been around the channel before, you know I like my baseball games, do a lot of baseball content videos, so check those out as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you're new. Give me a thumbs up and all that razzmatazz, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.